In this video, we'll show you how to submit your injury information to the NCAA and Dataless. We will also cover how to set up your account to be eligible to do this. You must first contact the NCAA and the Dataless department and obtain your Dataless ID for Sportswear Online. We will first start by showing you how to set up your Sportswear Online account to be eligible to submit to Dataless. You must first be an administrator on the account to follow the next steps. You'll then want to go to your admin tab and select the institution option once you have your ID. Scroll down to the bottom of the general page and in the lower right hand corner you will see the data list box and a slot for you to enter that ID. Hit save and then you'll need to log out and log back in so this change and ID is saved into your Sportswear Online account. Next, we'll need to change your sport callouts within your athlete's profile to the Daedalus preferred callouts. Start by pulling up an athlete within each team that you wish to submit for. Update their profile and go to the sport section on the general tab. Within sport 1, 2, or 3, click on the drop down menu and search for the callout in yellow that indicates that it's a Daedalus callout field. Select the sport that you're changing it to. Scroll up to the top and hit save. Repeat this for an athlete in each sport on which you plan on submitting injury information to Daedalus for. After finishing changing an athlete's profile sport for each of the teams we're submitting information for, we'll then need to mass change the rest of those team's sports to the Daedalus callout. Start by going to your Utilities tab and choosing the Replace option. In the top line for Database, we'll keep it on Athlete. In the Field drop-down, we'll need to change that to Sport 1. For Find What, you're going to select the old sport which you were previously using in Sports or Online. Then, in the Replace With drop-down, choose the new data list callout that we've already selected for one of our athletes. We then hit the Replace in All Databases box, that's going to pop up our warning to click OK through. And then just repeat this process for each of the sports in which you plan on submitting information to Daedalus for. Once you're done changing your sports, hit the close button to get back to your database. Now, if your coaches log into Sports Online, we will have to update the sports that they're restricted to so they can see all the new athletes under the Daedalus callout sports. Go to your admin tab and select users. Select the coaches one by one and hit update. Go to your restrict sport access tab and scroll down till you find their current sport selected and change it to the Daedalus callout now. That should be right below it. Click save and repeat this for each coach that you have on staff that has access to sports or online. Also, if your athletes log into Sportra Online to provide you with all their preseason forms and paperwork items, you may want to go into your pick list section and update your pick list and remove these old sports callouts so they only have to choose from data list callouts moving forward. Go to your pick list tab and select multi level, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and select sport. Choose each individual sport you're submitting to data list for, hit the select button to the left, and hit the delete button at the top to remove it. Once you're done with all your sports, click the Save button in the top right and your changes will be available. The last step we'll need to do is make an athlete's injuries eligible to be submitted to Daedalus. Start by going individually to all your athletes and updating their athlete profile. On the General tab in the bottom right, you'll see a Daedalus box that says Athlete Consent and Marked No. Change that to Yes and then hit Save up at the top to save this change. Your athletes sign off on submitting their injuries to Daedalus through the NCAA paperwork that they're obligated to complete to participate. Repeat this for each one of your athletes. Now that we've finished setting up your account, we'll show you how to create injuries that are eligible to be submitted to Daedalus. We'll now add a new injury like we previously were doing in the system by selecting our athlete in the injury database and clicking the add button. The first thing you'll do in this new injury to make it eligible to be submitted to Daedalus is in the status box, you'll need to make sure that the athletic checkbox is marked for this injury. 
Then complete the rest of the status box like you normally would. Double check that the sport drop down has the Daedalus callout sport selected. Moving to our action box, you'll then complete this like you have been in the past as there are no additional changes you need to make here. We then in our description box, you'll see in the body area, you have three yellow callouts that are new to the drop down. These are your Daedalus injury callouts that you must use in order to submit this injury to Daedalus. Select the body area and body part that best fits this injury and you can choose a side as you'll see there are yellow callouts available for you to choose in that drop down as well. Now we'll move down to our injury aspect where you can add in the diagnosis and the severity for the injury. Then you'll want to move to your background tab where you'll complete finishing these drop downs like you normally would. You must however fill in the season and the surface drop down options using the yellow Daedalus callout regardless if you use this tab prior to submitting injuries to Daedalus. The attachments and notes tab will be used just like you've previously been using for all your injuries as there's nothing to do here for Daedalus. Last but not least you'll now see a Daedalus tab to the right of your audit tab. You'll want to click on that Daedalus tab and it'll show you all the information that you're currently submitting to Daedalus. We'll start by clicking the Sync with Injury General tab on the right hand side of the screen to pull over all the information you've already entered into this injury for the Daedalus submittal. You'll then need to go to each of the drop down menus on the screen that still have an unknown listed in them and change them to the best appropriate answer for you and this injury. When you get to the outcome drop down, you'll notice the options are pretty grim. This is based on your return to play date inputted into the general tab of the injury. If no date is in there, these are your current options. Leave it as unknown until you know the return to play date for the athlete. Once that date has been inputted, you'll see an appropriate change in the drop down based on the date applied. Make your update and then continue finishing and editing the remaining drop down menus that are listed as unknown on the screen. Once you've finished with editing these drop down menus that are listed as unknown, you can now click save in the top right and we've now successfully created an eligible injury to be submitted to Daedalus. If the injury you created is a concussion, Daedalus would also like you to submit the day one symptoms from the SCAT-5 test for this injury. To do this, go to your concussion database and click add to add a new record. Choose the concussion injury we just created from the existing options and hit the add SAC slash SCAT button. Choose your SAC questions and then hit the add SCAT-5 option. Once you're in this screen, click on the symptoms tab and fill in the symptoms based on the athlete's results. Then you'll see there's a data list tab in black that you'll want to click on and then you'll have the option to sync with the symptoms tab. Click on this sync button and it'll autofill your results into the drop downs there. Complete the tab by updating any remaining unknown drop downs and then hit save. Now that we've created injuries and concussion information to submit to Daedalus, we'll show you how to send the info to them. Go to your admin tab and go back to the institution option. Scroll down to the bottom right where the Daedalus ID was inputted previously. You'll then see that we have eligible records to be submitted for injuries and concussion. Click on the Submit Records button to submit those to Daedalus. This is something that Daedalus recommends that you do at least once a month for all your injuries. Then you'll receive a confirmation code in the submittal that you can come back and check on the status of any submitted injuries at a later date. Just input the confirmation code into the bottom line and hit check status and that'll pull up the available results for you. You've now successfully submitted injury information to the NCAA and Daedalus. If you have any questions about what to submit to Daedalus, you'll need to contact the NCAA and Daedalus. If there are any questions for how to submit it through Sports or Online, feel free to contact us at our 800 number at the top of your screen. 
If you would like further training about submitting injuries to Daedalus through Sportswear Online, please contact your sales rep about purchasing our Jumpstart Daedalus training package.